Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The food experience is back. And right now it's about 5.18 in the morning, Pacific Coast time. And I decided to roll through 7-Eleven and get some rollers. See, rolling the rollers. I got these loco rollers, rolled tortilla chips, habanero, and lime. And I figured I haven't done a snack review in a long time for you guys, so why not, right? So these are habanero and lime. And if you look at the back in the ingredients, wow, there's a little bit of an ingredients list. Corn masa flour, water, vegetable oil, which has a bunch of stuff, um, natural and artificial flavor, monosodium glutamate, glutamate, yes, uh, lime juice powder, malic acid, gotta love the malic acid, red 40, aluminum lake, hmm, um, in, I can never pronounce these things, inosinate and sodium guanolate, sugar, modified cornstarch, yellow six, aluminum lake, Arabic gum, habanero pack, well, I can't read this morning, habanero pepper, oleoresin, natural color, blue one, aluminum lake, yellow five, aluminum lake. Wow, man, there's a lot of aluminum in here. <laughs> well, nonetheless, let's go ahead and give them a try. I mean, I already kind of tried a couple. You smell them and they smell like tortilla chips. I don't really notice the lime or anything like that. There's a look inside the bag. Here's a look at one of them. They're pretty coated. Some of them are a little bit darker than others. This one's pretty dark. It's a good crunchy tortilla chip. There's definitely a strong lime presence. As far as the habanero pepper goes, it's way down near the bottom of the ingredients, you know? So yeah, this, um, this is definitely a snack for everyone. There's no real heat to it, as far as like scorching, burning heat. There's a little bit of heat for people that aren't used to the spicy stuff. I mean, I guess they would probably say this is probably like a 5 out of 10 in spiciness. For me, it's not even a 1. I mean, it started to kind of move the meter a little bit. My mouth's a little bit tingly, but not really. It's got spices, you know. Um, it's got a lot of flavor. They're bursting with flavor. And they're crunchy. If you like a good crunchy snack and you like tortilla chips, lime, I'd say give these a go. They're not bad. Definitely not bad. Um, the habanero is just kind of not as strong as habanero would normally be. If they moved it up in the ingredients list, so it was like maybe the third or fourth ingredient, that would be different, you know? But, but they put it there right at kind of near the end of the list. So, anyhow, I just thought I would come by and do a snack review for y'all since it's been a long time. Hope you enjoyed my review of 7-Eleven Loco Rollers Rolled Tortilla Chips Habanero Lime. And um, next video, I'm going to make a vanilla cake from scratch in the Caloric Max. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do the icing from scratch yet or not, but I'm definitely going to do the cake from scratch. And I found a cool recipe, and I'll give that author the credit. But it'll be interesting to see how well it turns out in the max. I got two six-inch cake rounds, and um, yeah, it should be good. It should be fun, and it'll definitely be a new experience. And that being said, I hope you enjoyed this experience. And I'm going to wish you all a very stellar day. Be excellent to each other. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your host with the most of the food experience. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of different content coming up. Sometimes snacks, sometimes spicy, sometimes not spicy, sometimes uh, cooking food in the caloric max. I'm all over the place. That's why it's called the food experience. It's anything food related, and it's to document my experiences with food. So take care, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Laters.